it's three minutes past nine o'clock and uh, this is uh, actually our second course however uh, last the first one which uh, which was much earlier uh, it was in january or beginning of the february i don't remember but we have lost a very important time scale we are behind the time scale plus we have had a very sad uh, earthquake and um, however we have to come together we have to start from very beginning and we have to build up everything so i expect my students should come and start we we could be able to start our course at nine o'clock properly so it's already we have we have only five students in our classroom the first course i remember that i put their names the aliumit terzi uh, erdem keleş muayyat abunit nada hussam these four students attended the first course and most of the the rest the other didn't come that that's why i just chat with them and then uh, we couldn't be able to continue so this is the first course power electronics power electronics is one of the most important topic in electrical and electronic engineering uh, no need to mention the applications of those but i'm just going to give some examples one of them is very popular one electric vehicle for electric vehicle is starting from battery there is a for battery you you need a dc to dc converter in order to connect the dc bus of the electric vehicle this is one point and also and also you need to convert this dc to ac which is called inverter power electronic device to control the electric machine and then that electric machine supplies power to the wheels and in order to charge the battery you need a charger system in in uh, body of the vehicle this is one point and also you need additional charges on the street so many people now earning money about designing a charging system designing electric vehicle components and things like this power electronics not only that the the laptop we have the the computer we have the cell phone we have and also the what is what is called transmitting uh, radio and, and the cell phone radio signals those communication systems they have huge amount of power electronic applications since they use generally a dc volt which is 48 volt dc and then it is necessary since we know that we have an ac three phase so it's converted to dc and then applied in space applications in military applications in energy production solar cells for example solar cells produce a dc voltage but at home we use ac then what we are going to do we are going to use it in we are going to convert it to ac and then we are going to use it for 50 hertz regular values so the power electronic is very important and the and the graduated from okan university i'm i'm you see, probably you know that I'm mainly a, a Istanbul Technical University person. I graduated from there. I went to England for PhD. I came back. I became assistant professor, associate professor, full professor over there. 
and I took a lot of projects over there. I designed electric machines, power electronic systems, UPS, and things like that. Many, many applications. Then I came to Okan University to form the engineering faculty. So the engineering faculty, which you still probably you don't know how good it is, uh, since we we are uh, in a distance teaching and we have problems and things like this. Therefore, uh, however, uh, I must assure that if you follow the courses properly, if you want to improve yourself, you would be one of the top engineers. Since our probably you don't know our graduates from uh, Okan University, electrical, mechatronics, mechanical, the, our graduate or automotive, the graduates are now in industry and they are now in, in leading position to supervising the group of researchers. But not all of them, not all of our graduates, those who try to learn more to associate with us and then improve themselves, they they became uh, a good engineers, good scientists. They became good, uh, also um, leader leaders of the of their groups, and they they, they are now earning. Uh, I, I wouldn't I wouldn't really mention about how much salary they get. They they, you see the salaries are very high in Turkey. You probably you don't know that. The if if you are working in a in a good research company, either in automotive or or uh, defense side, the salaries are very high. And also there is a there is one opportunity probably you you know you well aware of that one. Since some of the good engineers uh, from uh, particularly the uh, defense uh, research groups went went to Europe from Aselsan, for example, other the other companies, they went to Europe. And and uh, there there is a need in industry in Turkey for need for good engineers. So you you should become good. But for that one, you, you are not going to memorize things. That's why I always use open book examination. Open book examination means that you are actually starting your engineering life. In your engineering life, nobody is going to hide a book from you. So you are going to open up your uh, books. You are going to open up your notes. You are going to, of course, you are going to use softwares. So let's start. Try to, this is, this is our, your, your, I know it is difficult to learn and follow the course from online. However, we must do that, okay? Because of the health reasons, I didn't want to uh, give face-to-face -face -face courses. Now, because of the earthquake, it became compulsory. Okay, now we are, we are only 11 students in our classroom. First of all, I would like to mention four names, which they are attended my first course. Uh, Ali Umit Terzi, thank you. Erdem Keleş, thank you. Muayyat Abunit, thank you. And Nada Hossam, thank you for attending the first course. You know that I, at the end of each course, I take the attendance list. I also wrote you last week, said that read this material. I don't know how many of you have have already read that one, but that is vital. If if you read the material beforehand, you become familiar with it. You may, not may, you should ask questions about it, questions about in your mind. Then when I when I try to explain it, then you are going to understand properly. Of course, you are going to make some exercises as well. Power electronics, I know you, you become the student of mine in control course. So now the combination of the, together with the power electronics, together with the 
electromechanical energy conversion together with the power system, the other courses, then all of a sudden your, your picture is going to be completed. Don't forget that. And don't lose your enthusiasm. Because of the earthquake, I know our, our mind went out uh, and we all, always care about other things and things. Now it's our time to, to learn to understand the topic properly. So you are going to learn the fundamentals of power electronics. But fundamentals of power electronics come, comes from the building, the, of course, based upon the fundamental physics and circuit theory. Okay, so you have to you have to learn you have your sorry you have to remind remember your your knowledge as well. One thing I'm going to show you first. These are of course symbols. So, but what I would like to start with with a clean page. Clean page. What when I was in the classroom, this is what I do. Okay, so it's a clean page now. You remember I used to use a camera, but uh, you told me that since you cannot read, I, I'm now recording the course. You cannot read the material, so I, I have changed this style, and I now use. the path. Question is this. Whether your source is, is DC or, or AC? I'm, so, I'm sorry. I couldn't write. Now it's connected. Okay. Now. Generally, either we have a DC, VDC, or we have single phase or three phase AC. Source. VAC is the function of time. Biraz incelteceğim yazıyı. Now the power electronic device, this one, that one, generally speaking, we use power here, uh, reference point here, and the VDC. And the, an electronic switch here. This is the switch. Electronic switch is connected here. Then we have load. Of course, this, I'm sorry. You know my pen's property. Sometimes there's a there's a pin over there, and I put it by mistake. So this is the load, okay? Load okumuyor. Load da siliyorum.
that switch here I'll come back to the point here so that is the, that is the lot all right If current flows through that that switch is either on, switch is either on or off. Of or turning on or turning off. Turning off. So turn, there are four modes. That switch is either on or off or turning on and turning off. Okay. But since this is a DC one, the current is going to flow that network. Current is going to flow. So power is equal V DC times IDC. But since the, this, this current is quite often interrupted by that switch, power electronic is, is a kind of technique to control that switch, to control this switch, to control this switch and, and control the power as well. However, some circuits we have here, Converts DC to a, a sorry, I'm sorry. Converts to AC to DC. AC to DC and get get the output again DC so the, of course there are a number of switches in it however the current is going to this is the load by the way again the first thing we know switch is either on or off or turning on turning off the second one we by using the combination of those switches we provide some power electronic networks for for example for this example this is a rectifier that one is a rectifier that one is dc to dc converter actually this one is dc to DC converter. So this kind of these kind of action, one of them, for example, we start from VDC plus and minus, or that one plus and minus over there, and network like this. where 
in opposite to in opposite where in opposite to in opposite to the circuit in the left hand side rectifier it now takes dc and produce ac This is load. And the current, of course, this DC, of course, supply current is a DC. However, that one, Kırmızıyla göstereyim. That one is AC. Now I have a question. What is the difference between DC and AC? How could you understand that? That that that network is inverter. Before cleaning the page, that network is inverter. Inverter. So you are going to learn the basic principles of Probably you already know that. The principles of rect DC to DC converter, rectifier, inverter, the, the rest is AC to AC converter. Not very much used. Of course, there are some lot of examples, but AC to AC converter is not widely used now. Uh, Triac, for example, is a switch. Which you you are all, you are all, you are going to learn about the switches as well. Without learning the switch, you cannot improve your knowledge. You have to know the properties of the switches. These are called power electronic switches. Probably in electronic circuit course, you learn some about it. Evet, şu elektronik neyesinde sinirim yanlışlıkla. Power electronics. So I'm going to clean that page and I'm going to come back to what what is what is AC, what is DC, what's going on. This is this is the basic knowledge of the systems. Bunu bırakalım, şeyimize bir dönelim. Daha çok konuşacağız. We are going to talk a lot about those. So these are the symbols, DC, AC, frequency, period, and also power. Probably you know the difference between power and energy. You are going to involve that, those as well. That is the a kind of representation that a switch might have a cutout gate, anode gate, and also the the gate which you trigger. So I'm sorry, I don't want I, I shouldn't use gate. Cutout terminal, anode terminal, and the gate terminal. Gate terminal is diode, for example, hasn't got any gate terminal, so it's an uncontrolled device uncontrolled semiconductor switch but MOSFET and insulated gate bipolar junction transistor or bipolar junction transistor these are all fully controlled switches there is one switch between interim between those between diode and fully controlled MOSFET for example in there is a in between is called thyristor. Thyristor is a device which you can you can give a signal and turn on, but
but without making the anode cathode voltage reversed, you cannot turn it off. I, I will come back to those points. These are the applications. Uh, this is the this is Mohammed Rashi's book. This is one of the. Uh, there are two, maximum three books. Uh, uh, is actually accepted by international sources, uh, international universities. The, the one one of them is uh, Professor Mohan's book. The other one is Professor Mohammed Rashid's book. And and the, the, the, the, there is also um, uh, from Colorado group. I couldn't remember his name. Wimslow, uh, uh, uh, this There is another. There are uh, there are of course a lot of books available. Uh, and one one of the one of the uh, earliest book uh, was splendid. Is Kazakian's um, book. Anyway. So we are going to follow the Mohammed Rashi's book. Uh, uh, I I believe it's one of the best. I I translated Mohan's book, for example, to Turkish into Turkish. However, it seems to me that uh, Rashid is is presenting things in, in starting from very simple beginning way. Okay. So these are the applications and the changing world. You can see that to until. So if you cannot follow my cursor, you urge me. Time to time, I forget. So that you can see that is is space application, and that one is uh, military applications. This one is communication, uh, and this is energy, solar cell, and things like this. And this is a robotic applications. Now, since we have said that. We have AC, DC applications. This is one of the application. Um, I believe, I believe you have derived. What, what are you going to? What What do you? What do you see from this? What do you understand from that circuit? What kind of circuit is this? It's an AC supply. One side. So there is a transformer, and that transformer is providing uh, positive and negative voltages. Since in in the secondary winding, the middle point is taken out. Therefore, uh, when the top, the positive part here, this one, voltage is positive here. In that case, voltage is negative there. If you define the voltages like this. But since we know that supply is AC, but this one, not only the AC, but and also this one is sinusoidal. Now I have a question. What is the difference between AC and sinusoidal? Who is going to answer? What's the difference between AC waveform and sinusoidal waveform. Right. I I am going to open up your mind. Uh, I am going to try to open up your mind, but it is your hand. It's to open up your mind. Okay. So I draw another curve here. That is that is again time, time, time, or omega time. Omega time means you are measuring time with pi, two pi, and things like this. But if it is time scale, that means you are divided by omega. You can you can also draw time scale. 
So I'm asking you, what kind of waveform is this? That that one that one is that one is sinusoidal. Yeah. What about that one? Is it a is it a DC or what is what is that one? What do you think about this? Square waveform. It's it's a yes, it's a square waveform. All right, but this is an alternating waveform since the positive part and the negative part is equal to each other there is no dc component in it if you get the average value of it the average value is zero but it is not sinusoidal this one is square wave ac that one is ac that one is ac too but also special sinusoidal. Since power electronics is quite often called power processing, we, we are going to change the waveforms. Our technique is based upon the change of the waveforms. Therefore, therefore, we have to understand what is the difference between AC and sinusoidal. How could you understand the AC? The, the, how could you obtain the differences between AC and DC? Sorry, I'm sorry. How could you obtain the differences between AC and sinusoidal? The technique called Fourier analysis. When you when you analyze that waveform, that square wave, that square wave waveform, when you analyze this, you are going to obtain it has actually some AC components in it. One of them is fundamental, the other, the others are different. So then you can obtain how far your waveform from the that kind of waveform okay so what is that here i'm going to clean that this is additional information so but this one is is actually providing the the positive part when the voltage is positive between zero and pi voltage is transferred with this diode Diode is a switch which that that point is anode, that point is cathode. As long as it reaches, receives a positive anode cathode voltage, it transfers. So it conducts between zero and pi. How many seconds between zero and pi? How do you find this? Is it is it actually time scale? I wish I wish I could see your faces. When I see your faces, I could understand whether you are coming with me or you you your mind is complex. You couldn't follow me. I repeat, I repeat. But please try to follow me. Please try to walk with me. Okay, between zero. Sometimes you may find my questions very simple. Probably you may find it some childish. However, this is I can't use I can't see your faces. Therefore, uh, we have to all all of you should be following with me. Between zero and pi is ten milliseconds. How do you find this? 
10 millisecond. It's time, actually. How do you find this? It's simple. This waveform is equal Vt is equal Vm sine omega t. Omega is equal to pi f or two pi or t is omega. In Turkey, f is 50 hertz. If you put 50 hertz here, omega is obtained two pi times 50 316 çarpı 14 galiba. Neyse. Radium per second. So time period is equal 1 over F period. That one is the period. Total period. 1 over F which is equal 1 over 50, which is equal 20 millisecond. So that that is 20 millisecond in Turkey. However, I asked you between 0 and pi is 10 millisecond. OK? So it's, it's so simple. So. However, in order to use it, in order to make it simple, rather, we invented, or the engineers beforehand invented that it's better to use omega t than it's pi and 2 pi, we say. But it's time, don't forget that. I clean that part. I, I, I believe whatever I say, you grasp it and never forget it. I know you already know those. I'm just refreshing your memory. Okay. Now, what's happening actually? Again, that one, while the voltage is positive, diode one is transferring the load, load terminals is A and B. Okay, so this this point is A, this point is B. So voltage here is transferred directly between A and B. Point A is a low terminal. However, when voltage becomes negative, in that case, that voltage of the negative part of the transformer becomes inverse. Therefore, this diode is positively biased. So the anode voltage of the diode becomes positive. Therefore, this diode, sorry, the, this diode starts, the second diode starts conducting. Then, this part of the voltage is converted positive and transferred as, as this one. So this is the output. What kind of output is this? This one is an AC output, was it? AC output. Now we have 23 students in our classroom. I open a question now.
This is an AC output. That one. Yes or no? Yes, three three person, three student answered, only four student answered. I, I know that some of you have uh, connection problems. Drop and come back. I can see from here. Okay, hurry up. Only four students answered. You couldn't answer it. You can't vote. Can you vote now? Can you vote? Can you vote now? I think you can now. Yes. All right. Come on. I'm waiting. Okay, right. Those who cannot, I understand. Cemile. Cemile, niye gönderemiyorsun acaba? Diğerleri gönderiyor. Bak, yani acaba yazılımında mı bir şey var? Bak, 12, 12 kişi e, şu anda evet dedi. 2 kişi hayır dedi. Beş kişi de cevap veremedi. Güzel. Yani e, o zaten birkaç kişi yazdı bana cevap veremiyorum diye. Demek ki herkes sınıfta bir kere. Ondan ha, gönderiyorsun şimdi. Güzel. Tamam bitiriyorum artık. Yani diğer gönderemeyen beş kişi muhtemelen zaten yazdılar biz gönderemiyoruz diye. Teşekkür ederim çocuklar. That is the result. 15, 15 student said yes it is an ac and the two students said it was three now dropped to two so i'm going to open up the answers and i can see ali ömer pardon ali umut terzi ali umut terzi ve muntir Muntir S R El Daudur El Daur Muntir can you can you open up your microphone I would like to hear your name Muntir is it Muntir Where are you from No you can't open up your microphone All right don't worry Don't worry As long as you follow me I'm glad But one thing I'm not very good i'm not very glad uh, only two person right two persons answer right ali mutterzi and muntir that output this output is not ac ac yeah that's right it <laughs> ali mutterzi says it's rectifier he says all right it is dc but how could you understand that's very important as long as you get the average value if the average value i write
if average value if average value is not equal to zero is DC. Of course, it's a, whether it's a good DC or not, it's a completely different matter. That, that has the average value. So somewhere there. PD average. How could you calculate that one, by the way? Kitabınızdaki şeyleri kullanmak istiyorum. Buna siliyorum hepsini. Tamam mı? If average value is not equal to zero, it's a DC. Output Average value is equal to Şuraya average yazayım gene de. İçime sinmiyor. Karışır sonra. Now the period 1 over pi integral from 0 to pi vm sin omega t which is equal to now you are going to get sine integration minus vm over pi cosine omega t from pi to zero which is equal to Average value is equal to minus Vm over pi cosine pi is minus one and the other one is minus one. Sorry, burada işaret. Şu, şunu silmem lazım. Virgülü yanlışlıkla koydum. Since this is a sinusoidal waveform, we get the average value. We, we all know how what how do you get one between zero and pi. If you get the average value, that one that one also is the is the repetition of it, but divided by pi. If you use from from one to two pi, which is a total period, then it's going to be twice that one so it's you are going to obtain the same result okay did you understand that one i only use that part i only use that part this part is telling you this is the repeat of it so that is the average value we all average is it clear now we know that this is a simple rectifier and uh, it converts the DC to, sorry, to AC to DC. And this is the value, which uh, is a DC average value, average value, don't forget. 
we we have already learned the average value as well we are going to look at the rms value again of course you know those but i'm going to clear the information what about that one are you tired by the way we are we'd better take 10 minutes break okay all right so five past five past ten come on we kahve alın ten five break yazıyorum buraya benim saatim 54 tamam 10 sıfır fayda buluşacağız ona göre kaydı kesmiyorum çünkü çok zor oluyormuş so I'm, I'm not interrupting the uh, record
Evet geldim. So, what's going on here? Now, this is the load. That one is the load. And that that is your DC supply. So you can you can also you can also draw that one as as a plus and minus DC supply. Tamam. Source. And the current current is going to flow through that line. Current is going to flow through that line. Okay. When the switch, that switch uh, is, is a fully controlled switch, by the way. Therefore, it requires a gate signal. It requires a gate signal through its gate. As long as it receives the, the call. Anot katot diyeyim, tamam mı? Anot and katot. Although it's not, this is IGBT, for example, some of the most of it is going to be called drain and source. We are going to discuss it anyway. So this is a simple starting uh, course today. So the current is going to when the when this switch becomes on, switch on means conducting, and then current flows through the load. So that is the waveform we get. That is the waveform we get to this point. And assume that the load is resistive, then when the send a signal to your IGBT, a gate signal to your IGBT, this is the gate, this is the switch, IGBT switch, then switch is turned off. So that portion is sent to the terminals of the load. This is this point and that point are the terminals of the load. And then current becomes zero. There is no current here. And then when for the next period you turn this switch on again, then it flows. Current flows there. Although current is not represented here. So I'm going to draw the current as well. This is the current. Saçmaladım. Bir dakika. <gülüyor> Hem cetvelim vardı burada. Bir dakika çocuklar. Evet. Cetvelim koyup. Şimdi kalemin kenarıyla çizerim. Sonra bakarız çaresine. As, as far as lab is concerned, I'm, I'm going to tell you. You are, you are wondering about the lab. We are not going to start laboratories, so there is 
mo it is most likely the laboratories will be shifted to uh, after the April, you know, April. Uh, this this kind of education is going to be uh, discussed again. Uh, if uh, Ankara uh, force us to stop education or continue education like this, then then we are going to do it in summer. I don't know how could we do it, but we are going to do it in summer, the laboratory I'm talking about. Therefore, there is no lab at the moment, okay? Bir dakika. Yusuf. But the university sent us yesterday, it's only for the rest of the semester, I guess. We don't know. We don't know. It's it's up to Ankara, uh, the, the YÖK. They they say you cannot continue on face-to-face uh, -face education. It is it is for the time being until April. Uh, you, you they are ordering us that we should teach uh, online. Okay, so uh, th there would be no student in the campus. Uh, uh, and uh, they are, of course, those live in the dormitory, they are going to continue living there and they are going to take their courses online also. However, we are not going to give la laboratory uh, experimental work to you until April. Okay. Tamam mı Yusuf? We can't do that. We can't do online lab. Don't know. Of course, we can discuss that one as well with with my colleagues. Evet, daha iyi çizdim. So the current current is going is going to be similar. Resistive. Resistive load. For, for resistive load, current waveform is exactly the same as the voltage one. What about, how, what about the average value? How could you calculate the average value? The average, on the blue, yapalım, her taraf kırmızı olmasın.
Can you write the equation here? 1 over t is the period, okay? Integral from 0 to t1. t1 is the period when the, between that one, this one, the time between those, t1, time scale. The switch is on between t1 and the supply is Vs, Vc, of course, dt, plus from t1 to t, zero dt. So for the for this part between zero follow my cursor please between zero and t1 it is this one that one between zero and t1 it's on and between the t1 to t it is zero So average value is equal to şuraya sığdıracağım galiba is equal to t1 over t times vs t1 over t is called duty cycle duty cycle so if we spend too many times on this one it's a simple example if you if you if you have a source you are capable to control the control the average value of it of the load by turning on and turning off of the of the switch this switch it, what you do actually the turning on time turning on time t1 over t period is is giving you how much you can reduce your average output voltage for the load okay so i think i think that's clear it's it's an example of a dc to dc converter actually that's the one now what's going on here Biraz büyütelim şekli. We have four switches connected. That switch is, is turning on. And when you turn this switch on, this is a MOSFET actually, current is going to flow. Current is going to flow through through that line and come here okay what is going on whatever the whatever the vs is is directly neglecting the voltage drop of these two switches the whatever the voltage is is transferred that is the waveform we described it we already described it so that's the part that is the part rather that is the part these are gate signals you send it but when you when the time comes
you turn this these two switches on sorry these two switches off that switch and this switch off instead you turn this switch on and and that switch on so that switch also receives positive anode cathode voltage that sw switch is also receives anode cathode voltage actually drain and source and the current is going to flow in this direction. Since for violet case, the, the second part of the load is connected to the positive part of the voltage, therefore, the load, you can see that current also reversed. So for the first part is the positive current is flowing. The, for the second part is the negative current is flowing. Therefore, a negative voltage comes between the terminal of the, of the system. So we have a square wave. We have a square wave. The average value is equal to zero. This is an AC waveform. We produce from DC an AC. So this is called inverter. The simplest wave. So what is RMS value, for example? Now we have another terminology. The RMS value. The RMS. Root. Mean. Square. Root mean square. Root mean square value. In Turkish, very simple. Karelerin ortalama değerinin kare kökü. Square of the function, I repeat in English. Square of the function, get the average value of it and then obtain the square root of it. Root mean square. Karelerin ortalama değerinin kare kökü. I just, I just get it. V O R M S V O R M S is equal to karelerin ortalama değeri square of the function V S square here and the plus Vs square then ortalama değeri average value siyaha geçiyorum divided by 2 and square root of it. Karelerin ortalama değerinin niye vs square aldık? Although it's a negative, but square is positive. Don't forget. So this means 2 vs square over 2, square root 2, so it's vs. So the R 
RMS value of the output is equal to Vs. However, if you want to calculate the quality of the waveform, of course, you have to employ the Fourier analysis, which we are going to do it later. So I come back to I come back to my original case. We have seen a simple rectifier here, and we obtain the rectification, and we learn about the average output average voltage, which is a DC. This is this is rectified from AC to DC. The, the second one is a DC to DC converter. We have input DC, however, output DC, and we are capable to control the output voltage by controlling the turning on time. So this is the average value of delta. Şu delta'yı da şuraya yazı vereyim. Delta. Tamam. Duty cycle. And also third example, we can also provide from DC and AC and this one is the typical waveform and we all know that the output of the average value is zero. If average value is zero, that means your waveform is AC. If average value is not zero, that means you, are, you have a DC component in it, or you may call it DC as well. Now, this one is inverter. Okay, three examples we have seen. Now, if you have a problem like this, what are you going to do? If you use a thyristor here, thyristor waits until the signal here. As long as it, it gets a signal, it turns on. And the, when it turns on, that, that waveform is transferred. Although its input is sinusoidal, your input, your input is sinusoidal. Okay? And we know that Sorry, hello, my. Remind me, remind me if I forget the use of cursor. This one is AC supply, and there is a transformer here. This transformer has got. It's, it's a. It's called center tapped transformer. Center tap transformer. center tap transformer okay so that point is a center point and this transformer is providing although ac supply has got positive and negative parts but the transformer is providing a divided part positive part half of this one here and the, the other half is, is there. But half is defined as Vm. Don't forget that. Not half of this in, input voltage. So if, it, if that one is a Vm sine omega t, that one, this one, this one, the second one, is the opposite of it. So actually, the second one, is actually a sinusoidal waveform. 
is actually a sinusoidal waveform like this. So for the positive part, of course, T1 is, is conducting, T1. T1 is conducting, and then at this point, it starts conducting. And then current becomes zero. I, I don't want to draw the current. I assume that resistive means that current is always uh, equal waveform, has got always equal waveform with voltage. I repeat, that is important. The, the load might be resistive, inductive, and capacitive. We are going to discuss those as well. However, if load is resistive, that's very simple. If load is resistive, current waveform follows the similar pattern as if with the voltage. Okay. Okay. Now, for this part, however, when you wait until this moment, now this one, this one has got positive voltage again, this part, and then that negative voltage is converted to positive, and then you draw that part as well. How could you for calculate the average value? Can you you remember that I said I was I was going to do a quiz for you. If I ask you a quiz here, can you do it? You ask that question to yourself. Look, look, look. You are you are uh, university students, and you are in the third year. Next year you are going to graduate, and then you are going to face with the graduates of other universities. Some of them are coming from Istanbul Technical University. Some of them are coming from Boğaziçi. Some of them are coming from Kocaeli. Some of them from Middle East Technical University, or some of them are coming from. Samsung, Trabzon, I don't know which part of the Turkey, but they are all graduated from their own universities. So only you have only one and a half year to become a competent rekabetçi olabilmeniz için bunları iyi anlamanız ve düşünmeniz lazım çocuklar. Düşünmeniz lazım. You have to think about those. Why is it so? And if you think that you are in the difficult to understand you can ask me right now during the course hour or you can send me an email I, I i don't hesitate to spend time on this one my my first purpose is to build up your knowledge is the top priority of mine is the education don't forget although i have some research projects i have European Union projects and things like this, but your future is most important than any other thing for me. You understand? But you are the one you are going to help to each other. You are going to one, you are going to evaluate your pluses and minus. In which area your brain is, is developing itself, in which area your brain is could be able to develop. Nada has got some problems with um, uh, probably Nada. Nada, of course, is uh, among the first first top students of mine. Nada, Moayat, Alumit Terzi, and Erdem Keleş. These these four are the first students to attend my course. I never forget them. Okay. All right. So how could we calculate that one? Let's try it together. Let's try it together. So the average value
o is equal to 1 over pi from alpha to pi. Hadi şöyle yapayım. 2 pi yapayım. Tamam mı? Şuradan bir parantez açayım. Böyle. Alfa to pi vm sin omega t plus from pi to alfa eksi vm sin omega t t omega t. Şimdi bunu bu da eşittir aslında. 1 over pi. Buraya 2 diyeyim. I'm sorry. Şu T1'i bir sileyim şuradan. Burada T1 çalışıyor. Şunu da sileyim. Şunu da sıkıştırdım böyle. So, half of them is enough. Okay, from alpha to pi is enough. Which is equal to minus Vm over pi one plus Cosine alpha. When you solve it, you are going to obtain that result. Okay? Pardon. Pardon, pardon. Arka. Bunu sileyim. İki tane denklem vardı. Bir tanesini atlayarak yazdığım için oldu bu. Hadi yapayım ya. Şöyle yapayım. Birazcık olsun yardım olur size. Just moment. Tamam. Alpha is called firing angle or quite often it's called firing delay angle. Delay angle. So it, the result is this. If alpha is equal to zero, it's a diode case. Two over Vm over pi. Gidiyorum diode'a. It's a diode case. Two over pi Vm.
Now this one, if if alpha is equal to zero, cosine zero is one. So one plus one is equal vm over pi. Sorry, two vm over pi. But if alpha is equal to pi, what's the value? Who is going to tell me? Alpha equal pi. So you increase, follow my cursor, please. You increase alpha. I increase think zero. Alpha. It is. Thank you. Thank you for your contribution. Baran the guy, Baran. Baran Samidin. Who, who was the answering? Ben, ben hocam, Muhammed. Nara, thank you. Sağ ol Baran. Uh, of course, it is it is becoming zero since alpha. If you shift that one alpha, then it smaller, smaller, smaller, smaller. At the end, it's going to be zero. Okay. Of course, cosine cosine pi is equal to minus one, so it's become zero. Okay. So I continue. Oh, AC to AC. If you have a triad like this, you actually, when you send a signal, voltage is, supply is AC. So take take our time. Time to time, I I become a, a bit, I've forgotten that we are the beginning of the course. So supply is AC. This is, this is our supply. And then we, send the signal triac is a special ac to ac switch when you send the signal to that switch it turns on of course i would like to control for example dimmer switch it's called generally triacs are used to control the for example the uh, illumination level of for example the room room illumination the bulbs you are controlling the voltage of the uh, the bulbs and then you are increasing the alpha in order to reduce the illumination level, illum luminance. So, or if you reduce alpha, so you get brighter lights, okay? So you are controlling the voltage. So voltage alpha, and you can see that for, for positive voltage, positive part transferred, for the negative voltage, negative part is transferred. Uh, triac, is a semiconductor switch like like the others however it's capable to produce to transmit rather positive current positive current as well as the negative current so the positive current and the negative current so the positive current flows like this and then negative current flows of course when when the current flows that means this point neglecting the voltage of the device is connected to this point. So this is your output. How do you calculate the, the output? Of course, it's going to take time. However, we for initial starting point, we have to calculate the RMS value of the of the output. The RMS. VO RMS eşittir. Neydi? Square root, root, I'm sorry, root means square. Kare kök. Kareler, ortalama değeri. Average value.
So this is the RMS value of the of the AC two AC conversion. Have you learned the principle of it since? Have you learned the principle of it since we have follow my cursor? I'm going to open up a new page. Follow my cursor. We have an AC waveform like this. And then this AC waveform is transferred with control device. So you can, you can, you can, if you use two diodes back to back, these diodes start from zero and transfer it, but it's, there's no use. But we are going to control the output voltage. So from alpha to pi, from alpha to pi, get a function square, and then get the average value, and then get the square root of it. OK, so I'm going to calculate that one in, in a new pages. So you can see that uh, you have to understand the phenomena of the switch. You have to understand the performance, the phenomena, how behave, the, how could your switch is behaving? It could be diode, uncontrolled. It could be thyristor, half controlled. It could be um, MOSFET and uh, IGBT is fully controlled. And also Triac is a special one. It's also fully controlled device, but there is only one gate. From one gate, when as long as you give a signal, it turns on. But if it if it turns off, then you are going to give another signal. Anyway, let's come back to this part. And now I'm going to calculate that AC to AC converter uh, RMS value. Perhaps you may ask this question before I leave that page. Why don't we calculate the average value? Why do we calculate RMS value? Who's going to answer that question? Why do we calculate RMS value instead of average value? Who is going to answer that question? I wish I could see your faces. You see, uh, during during distance teaching, uh, we are losing some, uh, let's say, psychological contact psychological contact means that there are a number of different students in your classroom as a lecturer probably more than probably somewhere 5000 students or 3000 students i have already faced with there there are some different characters some some characters are have a courage. They don't hesitate to ask question. They they believe in themselves, or or doesn't matter. They even they don't know. They ask. That's good. Those people learn step by step. Since asking a question means that your brain is is is on those those topics. Doesn't matter how bad you are, how bad means how your knowledge is less to understand the topic. But as long as you ask a question, so I asked the question on behalf of you. I asked the question, I said that. Why do we calculate the RMS value, but we don't calculate the average value? And, and also, there are other types of students. For example, there are some, you know, silent types. Generally, very good students. They understand you, but they are silent. You discover them in examination papers. In examination paper, you discover that 
look, that student is, is different. He understood me. You see, as long as you understood your your lecturer, that means uh, you you are you are in the track. You are in you are in the pattern. Try to understand why that person is trying to emphasize those topics. Why is it so? There must be reason behind this. You see, I have I have designed a lot of power electronic circuits. I have designed a lot of electric machine control, electric machines and control systems. I have worked on many projects. So I know why that some part is important, some part is not. But one thing I know, the basic knowledge is the most important one. And the, those basic knowledge is going to is is like a, a step then you are going to climb up the the upper upper part of your engineering circles okay so the question is this again no answer yet i have received i'm i'm looking at the chat box nobody nobody answered my question Bidaka. Yes, I'm going to repeat the question, Mohammed. Why we are calculating RMS value here and we do not calculate the average value? Hujam, is it because uh, RM, uh, the average is equal to zero? Bu Baran'ın sesine benziyor. Baran sen misin? No, Hujam, I am Mohammed. Mohammed, Türkçen çok güzel. Aferin. <gülüyor> Beğendim. Çok sağ ol. Baran da bir gülümseme koymuş oraya. <gülüyor> Peki. Yani Baran'ın şey Muhammed'in Muhammed Sadık Türkçesi hiç ayırt edilmiyor. Yani bir, bir Türk, Türk çocuk gibi konuştu. Tabi bundan memnun oldum. Onu söyleyeyim. Ha. Şimdi gelelim cevabına. Teşekkür ederim. His answer uh, is correct. Uh, he is saying that uh, it's obvious the average value is equal to zero. You can see that the, the shaded area in positive, positive and the shaded area negative are equal. So there is no need unless there is a misconduction. You know, you see, alpha and pi plus alpha should be equal. But if there is something wrong, then you, you have to calculate it again. But generally speaking, the, the correct thing is this. The positive area is equal to negative area. So average value is zero. But RMS value is important since RMS, RMS voltage and RMS current is taken into account for AC power. Gentlemen. And ladies, RMS current and RMS voltage is regarded as calculating the power. Yeni bir sayfa gidiyorum. Bekleyin beni. So this is a this is a triac application. When I complete it, I'm going to take a break again. Just a moment. AC to AC conversion. Triac.
VORMS is equal to one over pi alpha to pi VM square sine square omega t d omega t square of the function get the average of it and get the square root of it okay which is equal to from alpha to pi one over two minus one over two cosine two omega t d omega t which is equal to Vm over one over pi omega t that one here omega t pardon follow my cursor that one is this one is omega t. Iki, we have taken already two to out of the uh, square root. Omega t minus sine sine two omega t. Eyvah, eyvah, eyvah. Kalem, kalemi bastım düğmesine. Yanlışlıkla. Bir dakika. Kalemin düğmesine basınca e, dokunmadan da yani uzaktan da yazabiliyor. E, bir, i̇yi bir fasilite herhalde. Yani işte başka işlerde de kullanmak için herhalde uzaktan. Ama benim hiç işime gelmiyor. Devam ediyorum. Sin 2 omega t over 2 paydan uh, alfaya kadar Yaklaşık şurada bir parantez olması lazım ya. Tabi. Burası bunun içi. O da eşittir. Vm over square root 2 1 over pi pi plus alfa plus 2 I'm sorry I made a mistake I made a mistake Sine 2 alfa 2 alfa over 2 Buraya da bir parantez de var. Tamam. Evet. Who is going to, is, who is going to interpret that result? If alpha is equal to 0 alpha is equal to 0 
So this one is zero. Alpha zero is a sinus, iki alpha da zero. This one is zero. So this only there is pi, pi divided by is one. So it's equal to sinusoidal waveform, complete sinusoidal waveform. So what's the RMS value of the sinusoidal waveform, by the way? We just remember. Başka renkte yazacağım. Hemen basit yazı vereceğim. This is the RMS value. Power <coughs> is equal to VRMS RMS times cosine phi RMS times cosine phi. This is the active power. And Q VRMS IRMS sine phi for sinusoidal waveform okay RMS value is calculated like this and the current RMS of course if it's a sinusoidal current RMS is also equal to peak value divided by square root 2 and the, these are the reactive power and active power equations Okay, take, we are going to take a break. It's 11.15. Tamam mı? Çocuklar, it, it, is, it might be suggested that three hours course could be conducted one hour. But power electronics, as I did it in control systems as well, power electronics is a very vital topic. And I was planning always teach three hours. Okay, so we are um, we are going to continue as we started. So 15 minutes, 11:15. Tamam mı? Take a break. Eleven fifteen. I generally woke up and and walk, you know, wake up. Uh, sorry, stand up and and uh, walk and things like this. So I I I need rest as well. But next week probably I'm going to give one big, uh, you know, uh, coffee break. All right, we see you in 15.
All right, I'm back. Come back. Now, I come back to original course material. So, we started with, we started with the after completing this chapter, students should be able to do following. So read that one, okay? Uh, and also read this one. I, I'm sure before coming the course, you read it. And that is what Power Electronic is all about. Application. That is simple diode rectification. That is simple DC to DC conversion. That is simple inverter, inverter operation, inversion, producing AC from DC. That is simple AC to AC conversion we have done. And also we have obtained the RMS value. We have, we have cleared our old knowledge about what is sinusoidal waveform, what is alternative voltage and current waveforms, alternating waveforms, what is average value, what is DC, what is AC. So we also cleared that one. We just remember the, our basic knowledges. Now this is one application. It's, a, it's called UPS, Uninterruptible Power Supply. You see, what's going on here that I'm going to explain it to you. Uh, first, I omit that one, and um, I'm going to complete the course with that example. That is AC to DC. We have already discussed. It's called rectifier, AC to DC. DC to DC is called DC chopper from DC to DC. That one is DC to AC. You can see that DC to AC is inverter, is called inverter. And that one AC to AC, so that one is AC to AC, is AC to AC chopper, or is quite often called cycloconverter. Cyclic converter. Just very sure. My first good master student was. His name is I. I I couldn't remember that one. He's he he is now he worked on the um, cyclic converter when I was at Istanbul Technical University. Okay, so uh, cycle converter. That's inverter. That's inverter. That's rectifier. I come back. That's rectifier and that's DC to DC chopper. Of course, there are a variety of forms DC to DC choppers. That is one example Professor Mohamed Rashid preferred. Is let's say you have a piezo material in in your shoe. And piezo material produce electricity when you get a pressure on it, and then you you produce electricity, and that electricity uh, he use a AC generator here, 
a, a linear linear AC generator here, and then this AC generator rectifies here, and then you uh, convert it to DC and they send voltage to LED light emitting diodes. So LEDs are used in shoes uh, for those kind of application. And RMS value. Now the RMS value is I have already defined root mean square square of follow me square of the function get the average value and then square root root mean square karelerin kare kökünün karelerin karelerin ortalama değerinin kare kökü karelerin ortalama değerinin kare kökü root mean square but rms value of the waveform can be if you if you have a um, if you employ the Fourier analysis, actually, that is that is the fundamental component. Sorry, uh, you are going to find the DC component as well, if if there is any, and you are going to find the uh, um, uh, fundamental component and the second harmonics, third harmonics, and fifth harmonics, and things like this. And the RMS value is is total of it, total of it. I will come back to that point again. These are the examples. Sorry. Examples of the calculation of the RMS values. You, you'd better try it at home. So this one is, is easy. Uh, as I, as I put it, it's a similar to sinusoidal. Doesn't matter. This is a positive since uh, that that waveform would be would have been. Hold on. Where did it be? Where did it be? Karesin aldığı için, since it takes a square of it so that waveform also has got the peak divided by square root two and these are the values you can calculate okay you try it you can calculate the rms values of those Power converter system. It's a power source we have. It's application actually. And power converter here, power converter has got switches and those switches are controlled by the gate triggering gate supply networks. And output also is controlled and then you change the, you, you are controlling the output voltage for example. This is it. You already know control uh, course with me. You can see how could you control it. But this one is a power electronic network you control. That means you are firing signal to the to its gate and you put it on or off. Then you change the shape of the waveform. Of course, you change the average value of the waveform. You change the RMS value of the waveform. Whatever it, you require, you do that. This is another example. Typical power electronic converter. Uh, you can see that there are two, two control circuits. This is the requirement, let's say, from beginning. That is the that is the that is the control link. So you can see that this is a controller you have here. And one of them could be speed, for example. The other one, it could be, uh, sorry, one of them could be current. The other one could be pos position. And this is auxiliary supply. And this is isolation network. Of course, uh, one thing you should not forget. Buraya yazıyorum.
gate network should be isolated. Isolated. Gene rezil oldu burası. Bir dakika. Should be isolated. Since gate network is a very weak network, and if you do not isolate it, the power short circuit or power values easily destroy your switch. Isolate. Okay. That is what switch is turning on and turning off. So follow me carefully. Follow me. If if switch is on, if switch is on, so that is that is switch. So delta V. which is terminal voltage terminal voltage of the switch bu aynı zamanda ve KO olarak geçer. Kolektör emitir. Tamam mı? Kolektör emitir. Current da malum. Yani bu, bu şurada ölçülen gerilim. The voltage here is the VCE. That one is C. That one is E. Okay? VCE. Şimdi biraz büyüteceğim resmi. I'm going to make it open. Başlangıçta From very beginning, system is off. Switch is off. You can see that. There is also a gate network here. So you are triggering. But this is a load network. So switch is seriously connected to the load. And load is resistive in order to make it simple. Başlangıçta, from very beginning, switch is off. Switch is off means if switch is off, All the all the load voltage we see the voltage of the switch switch is off by the way is high nereden biliyorum devreye bakıyorum If switch is, eğer açıksa bu anahtar, follow my cursor please. If that switch is off, that means whatever VCC is is coming to this point, and that one is neutered, so the voltage here VCC supply voltage is equal to the terminal voltage of the switch. Nerede o? Bakın, switch voltage here. And that one is VCC. There is a voltage between the terminal wall. But there is no current. Of course, current is there is a very almost zero current here. Assume you may assume current is zero. When you send the triggering signal, there is a certain time passes. So this time, this time is uh, you send the signal here. And the, the, this time is nothing happens. 
you see the structure structure of the of the semiconductor switches is something like For example, switch is P and P, and these are these are called junctions. Separation between those. Certain amount of time is required if you send a gate signal to the gate also. Gene çorbaya çevirdim burayı. Dokunduğu zaman kalem gidiyor. gate that one is gate so as long as you send the gate then junction here that is junction junction actually actually barrier the positive and negative uh, uh, units let's say positive units holes negative units electrons join they pre prevent that one so if if you send the gate signal gate current for example then those barriers are crashed down reduced and there is no barrier and the current flows okay so that that is for example that one is i don't know which one is which one let's say this is collector and this is emitter <clears throat> and the current current start flowing so our current if there is a voltage between terminals current is going to start flowing if there is a voltage between terminals current is going to start flowing current direction okay so so what's happening actually here What's hap happening? It takes a certain time. It's called delay time. Hello, my cursor, please. This is delay time. For delay time, current is not rising and voltage is not changing, but in the meantime, junctions went off. But then, then there is a time called rising time. Switch is turning on. This is turning on time. Then voltage drops immediately almost to short circuit value very very little and the current then rises you can see that if if there is a voltage and current what's the power here <coughs> the product of those multiplication of voltage and current gives you the product which means power so you are actually consuming power to turn this switch on and similar action occurs here, here, while switch is, is current is flowing during on time, then you turn off the gate signal, but it takes certain amount of time. Again, a time this time is current is flowing, but here, then switch starts opening again current dro drops and switch goes up so between those periods between those periods also some losses occurs this this loss switch is turning on is called turning on loss and that loss here that loss here is called turning off loss but that one that one while switch is on is on loss 
switches on on loss and that one switches off this one both share and the switches off is called off loss so uh, total of them is give you the performance of the switch so if you look at the losses here that is that is on loss sorry turning on loss that is turning off loss this is this is on loss on loss is very low why the the voltage between terminals of the anode and cathode is almost 0 0.6 volt that's that's why the, the the current is high but voltage drop is low so it's negligible but it's, we are not neglecting it it's here you can see that this is the power what is the energy by the way energy energy Bu denklemlere itiraz olan var mı? Baştan alıyorum. Enerji, if you know the power, which, which that, that figure, follow my cursor please, I know you are tired, but you have to prepare your brain for three hours fully concentrated course. And then, please read that material, listen that material, Next week, I'm going to make a quiz about these topics, okay? So, if you look at that one, here, energy is equal, if you know the time function of the power, power times energy, if power function times dt, so integration of the power. That means power is the, if you know the energy, if you divide by time, you get the power. Time is period. Therefore, power is actually, time is, is 1 over F. So that means frequency times energy. Okay? So now I come back to the equations. You are going to understand clearly. Power, actually, power on, only power on, is equal to PDT. And the, the resulting switching power loss switch switch this power loss is not is not relevant to the load be careful is is not con is not connected there's no link of course current is defined by the load by the way system is like this system is like this we have a source DC also, daha kolay olsun. And we have a switch here. And we have a load here. Resistance, supply, and, and current. So power, power here is, is, not, is not the, when the switch is on, current is flowing, all right. But actually, Switch is turning on, switch is turning off, and switch is while switch is on, so the power.
power here defined başka bir renkle çizeyim. Power switch. Just power of the switch. Okay. Between these two points. This is what we calculate. While, while it's going to be on is something like this. While it is going to be off. Burada tabii benim bir eleştirim var ama neyse dokunmayayım şimdi. Bu toplam TS'i alması burada mantıklı değil. Ee, sadece on süresini alması lazım ama zaten öyle yapmış. Sıfırdan t ona kadar demiş bakın. Şimdi aşağı iniyorum. İntegralleri inceleyeceğiz beraber. Sorry. I made a mistake. Büyütmem lazımken. Ve oka geçeceğim. Tamam. So from from zero to TD PDT from zero to TR PDT from zero to TS PDT from zero to TF PDT bakın o zerolara bakacağız şimdi burada büyütüyorum nerede o From zero to TD, from zero to TR, from zero to TN, whatever, from zero to TS, and from zero to TF. So, bunların hepsi, the all together, is only relevant to switch, switch losses. Okay. Peki soru şu, switch losses'tan bana ne? Since you have to keep the junction temperature in Uh, below 125 centigrade or 130 generally speaking 125 centigrade so in order to keep this the temperature junction temperature you have to cool it down you have to know the losses inside the inside the switch that is the power variation so you integrate it from this point to this point You integrate from that point to that point. You integrate from this point to this point. You you you integrate from that point to that point. Let's say for, for one period. Then you divide it by period. You get energy actually. Geçiyorum bir sonraki slide'da. So this is the parts I, I explained it. You you divide it by t. That that that that is energy. So that energy is when you when you divide it by time, you come power. So or multiply with fs. Yazdım onun eklemini. Bakın burada eklemini. Bakın burada enerjiyi f ile çarparsan power'ı bulursun. Veyahut da enerjiyi t'ye bölersen power'ı bulursun. Burada da, pardon ona gidiyorum. You probably you may realize that as long as I become tired I intend to use some Turkish words. Okay. Uh, but some some, some uh, students which have got not uh, a Turkish uh, native language But I, I'm glad that you, you understand very good Turkish as well. However, I'm not going to exploit that one. I'm not going to use it. I'm going to stick to uh, English again. So that that is the the frequency of the whole system. TD, TR, T on, TS, TF, TO. So altogether frequency, and then your your uh, power. Your switch power is equal to P on, P switch, and P gate. Also, gate power is not represented as well. Bu anlaşıldı herhalde. These are the switches. Type of switches. 
And these are the bu, bu last topic I'm going to talk to you. Bir de, bir de şununla ilgili bir hikayem var. Onu da anlatayım çocuklar. When I was teaching power electronics at Istanbul Technical University the generally um, the companies, international companies uh, providing power electronic networks uh, although most of them were Istanbul Technical University graduates are, are not allowed to give us the network secrets since they don't want we teach them those sec network secrets so they would like to keep to, they would like to sell their products in order to prevent the imitation of their products mainly european and american companies they didn't give us and also we used to ask them uh, the information about the switches they don't they don't provide that one either but we used to go to international conferences power electronic conferences and we present our work and we listen to the other people's work there were that there was a stand of the company same company but semiconductor diva part of the company and, and when we joined the uh, that stand we asked them do you have a catalog about this they say this one we have what is that one? Oh yes, this one also we have. Whatever it is, everything they get, we get. But it's all of a sudden became something like this, something like this. The brochures, notes, brochure notes, and everything. What we did, I remember that. I put it, make it packet, and put it to the post, so you cannot carry it. You see. Paper is heavy, you know, and you cannot carry it. You put it in, in a box and send it to our address from the conference. It was in Brussels, I think, that conference. Or Nuremberg, Nuremberg, Germany. And then send it to Turkey. Then, the, you know, a week after, when I start my course, I delivered those, whatever you see here, was was on the paper at that time and it nobody knew that and i i delivered those and said that you have to learn how to read the properties of the switches and it was it was early time of the power electronic was developing fast and then uh, we graduated a lot of good students say they are very successful now okay so I, if i come back here i know you are tired and it's um, tend to well that that is the important parameter of the switch as i told you listen carefully as i told you a switch is either on or off if switch is on this is the current you can see that the maximum current is silicon controlled rectifier or gate turn of thyristor so maximum these are high power devices this book is a little bit old it was published 2000 the the re recent one is i think 2016 me neyse yani minimum five five five i'm sorry five years old just a moment please I'm sorry. If switch is off, by the way, then there's a voltage. Generally, switch receives a negative voltage. So that is the resistivity of the negative or the how many, uh, how much volt that switch resists without breakdown. That's the one. I think the third one is the frequency of it i don't know whether we can see the third one no these are the knowledge we are going to discuss tomorrow no i'm sorry next week 
Yeah, we almost completed the course material, by the way, the first chapter. Okay, so we have made a good starting to our power electronic course. Please listen this course material and take notes and, uh, and also try to obtain Mohamed Rashid's book or any other book available in power electronics. Uh, you you can buy or you can download some of them are free you can download and forget about the world problems forget about the uh, international we have we have a lot of uh, students coming from egypt uh, syria iraq uh, lebanon urdun forget about your and turkey forget about earthquake concentrate on your topic uh, and become a very good power electronic engineer okay so i'm going to take attendance list moment We have 25, 24 students in our classroom. Don't leave, please. Evet, the last person was Yusuf Selim. And the first person is, is the half order. Abdul Abdul Abdul Abdul Bari Abdul Basset continues like this. That's the yeah, this is the first person. And the last person is Yusuf. Neyde bakayım? Yusuf Selim. Okay, thank you for listening. Thank you for attending. Don't forget that next week I'm pl planning to make a quiz about the, this course material. Okay, bye-bye.